And then y'all, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. Trader Joe's snack time. Girl, it's gorgeous today. You like it or you don't like it. You do like it, cool. You don't like it, cool, right? It looks expensive, doesn't it? With the family. If you bark, I won't be mad at you. Like, and you gonna be y'all gonna be like, how are you in a good place and this happened? You think I'm just gonna stand no by and watch you waste my time, but I Of course I love you, Johnny. You think I'm just gonna stand no by and watch you waste my time, but I am way too fine. Welcome back to another vlog. This is Jessica, but please don't call me Jesse or whatever we want to call it. But we going to Ross. We about to walk in. Okay, where is it? I walked up and, oh, this mirror. Y'all, look at this mirror. Oh, this big one right here. Wow. That's pretty. Um, I'm, ooh, this music is crazy. I'm looking for a specific item. Okay, I gotta go to Didi's. Okay, this is what I'm here for. They got a big one right here. Whoa. This is what I'm here for. Not necessarily the pumpkin spice one, but that's all they got. How much is this? How much the big one is? This music is wild. The caramel is good though. I got brown sugar, cinnamon. I don't really like these. This one, four twenty-nine, and then of course they got vanilla. I mean, they ain't got no small caramel. Let me go to Dee Dee's. Okay, Dee Dee's was a buzz. I'm mad at you, Dee Dee's. You see you in the background. I'm mad. So we going right back in. Um, y'all, I look a mess. Um, it's early in the morning. So we about to go ahead and go back to Ross and get the pumpkin spice one. I like pumpkin spice, don't get me wrong. So, we just gonna try her out. That was four dollars. Cause I wanna buy the big old caramel one. Y'all saw that? Brown sugar looked it good, vanilla looked it good, but I don't like that brand with those other two, so. Nothing beats the dark chocolate espresso beans from Bucky's. But these look good, but nothing beats the ones at Bucky's. Okay, y'all, so we're back in the car. And we got the goods. We got the goods from Ross. Like y'all can see that, Ross. And we actually scored on the syrup, the zero sugar syrup. So let me give y'all some context. I make my coffee at home now, again. Not now, but again. I'm back to doing it. Uh, this Starbucks, these Starbucks runs, I looked at my... Uh, bank statements and you know just stuff like that y'all that stuff add up that's fifty dollars a week if you're going probably more than three times that week i think so because you know i've been getting a nice coffee but anyway you guys we're gonna have to kind of cut back the holiday season is coming up not only that there are some things i'm trying to do at the beginning of the year and I feel like I need to stack my paper. So that's what we're doing. And that's the context, uh, context of why I came to talk. That's the story behind of why I had to go to um, Ross. Why is this car in my way? This is the coffee I made. These Halloween cups are from HEB. It has the lid on them. It makes me feel like, look, it makes me feel like I'm drinking coffee, but I brought it from somewhere or I purchased it from a place. Let me justify that, okay? So I already made it. That's unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I showed y'all that milk on last vlog. Y'all was with me when I purchased it. And the coffee is Doc Rose Cafe Olay Coffee from H-E-B. And the, the uh, milk in the coffee is H-E-B Brands. Cafe Olay is an H-E-B brand. And the unsweetened vanilla is an H-E-B brand too. And it's almond milk, by the way. So I don't drink uh, milk milk. Y'all know what milk milk mean. Uh-oh, I'm driving out. Milk milk mean, you know, I'm a little uh, lactose intolerant. <laughs> so I don't drink milk milk, okay? 
So we about to make this cocktail. Kids, yes, it's coffee. Uh-oh, let me get over. Kids, yes, it's coffee. But how I'm doing this, I'm driving. Don't try this at home. Really, none of y'all adults too. Oh, by the way, the ice is courtesy of Chick-fil-A. If y'all ain't watched my last vlog, y'all need to watch the last vlog. All this stuff is from last vlog. But anyway, the ice is from Chick-fil-A, and it's a bag of ice that they sell. And like I said, I made this coffee at home. Y'all see, I'm a pro driver. I am mixing coffee, making coffee cocktails, all while driving. If you are the police, or if you are 12, please ignore this part of the video. Ignore it. This video, this part of the video is not for you to watch. Because this is dangerous. I don't, and for y'all that be judging, this ain't the video, this ain't the part of the video for y'all either. Because y'all definitely going to be judging me. Okay? So we got our coffee mixed up. It looks good. Now let's see if it tastes good. And the pumpkin spice that I put in it, I put, I want to get some pumps for this stuff. Let me close it back up. I want to get some pumps for this stuff because that pour was intense. So let's try it. Mm. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me run that back. Hey y'all, I'm back home, showered, all that jazz. Y'all ignore this. Please ignore this shirt. Y'all already know why. I'm not a fan of them. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you don't know what this is, Green Bay Packers. Ignore it, okay? I got this like long time ago. It's comfy. I don't like this team, okay? So we got that out the way. Second of all, I'm about to do something to this head. I got these shelves because we're about to start with the shelves. Yep, sure are. Got these shelves, some Amazons, Amazonians. Come with these like little things, like my other shelves, like for my sunglasses. Look, y'all, y'all need to catch up on my vlogs. I installed my shelves for my sunglasses. They're all nice and neat. I can see everything. Now, as I'm opening this, okay. I do know I have a fragrance, maybe a fragrance or two, maybe two fragrances that might not fit. Y'all see how wide this is? I have a YSL Mon Paris. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Look, that YSL perfume does not fit, no matter how you slice it. So I already know when I buy some more shells, I'm still gonna keep these. But we'll, you know what? I can't say that. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh my goodness. This don't even fit. This one from Urban Outfitters fits. Okay, this is the Amber Vanille from Urban Outfitters. This fits. So I might keep these. Yeah. I'm going to keep these. And we're gonna get some water shelves because I need the most shelves I can get. I need some shelves, okay? I'm, now my nerves is bad. Now I might put this photo up here and then put the shelves down here. I'm not sure, but I definitely want to start a shelf right here. Hmm. I don't know. Is that weird? Okay, let's just figure this out. So, let's speed this process up and figure out how this gonna look. Because I don't know. Breeze, 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 so make it hot for me. Drop that oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, shit, 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 stop this. Yeah, yeah, with shit, hey. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, with shit, yeah, this, yeah, so stop down. Shit, smoke oh, this drink, oh, this oh, oh. straight to my level. Watch this snow. Yeah, I'm the nigga game rap, X Men smoke shots. I deliver faded, faded. Mike Brown said the killer shake it, break it. I, 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 for the winner, drop it, cop it. I was locked on you in 
Projects rocky, black splash, new beginnings, lovely Pinky, how not I remember fame Gimme, gimme, gimme some Freak the freckles off your face, put you freaking swapping tongues With my link is touch your buns, illusion then don't make it numb Blow it baby, no sit down, icky, 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 uh Fucking in the car, service, thank you for the car, bro From a zone, thoughtful, probably off a narco And gas, not the arco, poppin' since the intro You shopping from the window, play my favorite These ain't gonna work out. Half of my fragrances don't fit. They're too deep. Good evening, early evening, late afternoon. Welcome back to another day in the vlog. I know we got this wig on and it got a hat on it. But I'm flat ironing it tomorrow. So I gotta give y'all a disclaimer. I'm flat ironing this wig tomorrow. Today is Thursday. I'm running errands. I gotta pick up some stuff from the cleaners. Hence, cleaners in the background. <laughs> Get this stuff. Where go? I got it. Let me get this stuff from the cleaners. We have made it. Look at the hair. Look at the hair. Look at the hair. New flat iron alert, but the wind is messing it up. But anyway, you guys, we have made it to Trader Joe's. So we about to get some stuff. And I'm going to try to make sure I don't put no music over this. We just going to talk. <laughs> You're going to put on lotion right outside the car. Yeah, you're right. Who does this? Me. Put on lotion outside of Trader Joe's. I don't care. Okay, y'all. So we in Trader Joe's. Did you need anything from like produce? No. We're no. going straight to the freezer part, huh? Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, what? What is what? Okay. Why are you was looking at me like that, though? She said, this is cute, y'all. This is chocolate. Thanksgiving chocolate. Joe's Joe's Halloween cookies. You think those are good? First item. Get your bar. Okay, these were good. Last time. But we're here for wait a minute. Where are they? What I'm saying? Where are the ones I usually Oh, the people are good. Oh no. But I like these right here too. Should I get just these then? Since I like them so much. These? The chicken ones? Yeah. I like those too. Which one? Pork or chicken, huh? Okay, I am here for this as well. Ooh, look these kebabs. Look at these kebabs. Look at chicken tikka masala. This is my favorite one. Should I get some different? We're gonna go ahead and get this today. This music is wild. But this is what we got today. So far, cranberry juice. Here we are, because I didn't buy the one from last vlog, because it wasn't real. This one is real, so we're gonna go ahead and get this one. Put her here. Y'all, we've been looking at these pickle chips. Y'all think these are it? I hope so, because they were good. This has been a year, huh? 
So here's this stuff selection for Trader Joe's flowers or florist section or flower shop. I like their selection better than H-E-B. Y'all, look at this half-dipped chocolate and vanilla sandwich bars. You gonna get it? Oh my goodness. You gonna give me one? No. What? I have to eat them. Maybe, I'll think about it. It's six of them. Y'all ever heard of a baked cheesecake? It's seven. Seven dollars is wild. Okay, y'all, $34 later. I think we did good. What you think? $34 later. By the way, you guys, my daughter did, can you zoom into my toes? She did my toes, you guys. She did black polish. Isn't that pretty? I wanted black polish for the month of October. My toes look like they're losing weight. Look how they're like saggy. They're losing weight, huh? My toes are losing weight. I don't know how your feet loses weight. They do. It loses all the water out your feet. Hello, YouTube. Uh, okay. This is my channel, and I'm going to show y'all what I got from Trader Joe's. So I got these half dip uh, chocolate Can you and share the full box? half dip and half dip and chocolate uh, and vanilla. Wait, half dip chocolate and vanilla flavored sandwich bars. Figo. That's what it's called, Figo. Oh can you show them what it looks like in person? This is what it looks like in person. Yeah, you can show it. Oh, let me get it out. Mm. That looks good. Can you try it on camera for them? Mm. Trader Joe snack time! <laughs> and I got these suckers here. These better be the same chips that we tried last year. Mm -hmm. I don't think I was blocked. I don't know how I was blocked. What's how you do mm, But I got some napkins because we share them. I didn't mean to hit you. This quality sucks. Okay, y'all can see us better, huh? Anyway, Trader Joe's snack time, like I said. Got your napkin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thumbnail. Y'all know I ain't gonna do it. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not yet, that's <is> it. <laughs> oh, is that ice cream? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did. Hey, hot girl. Oh. I want to try the chips first. Mm. Just a little bit, just a little bit, because we snagging all night. We snagging all week. Mm. 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 Pickle juice. Oh, this is what they, this what the pickle juice look like, y'all. Very seasoned. Very seasoned. This ain't no healthy bar. Well, maybe it is. No. Yeah. This ain't healthy. Depending on how many days I add to this vlog. Let me try this ice cream bar. If y'all like hearing people talk with, uh, eat with their mouth open or talk with their mouth, uh, click off. Don't click off. I like y'all. Don't click off. Okay. Yes. Ooh, Yes. Lessy, Lessy. Okay, I think I'm gonna bite on each end. Mmm. That sandwich part fire though. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. Okay, sandwich part. That was the chocolate part. Yeah. What are these? I'm going back in. In that box. <laughs> it's good. They, they had another flavor. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, fashion house. No, they did wrong for this. This gold outfit is not it. Now, I know I'm the tacky queen, but what is this? Is this supposed to be 70s? Like, they supposed to have a fro in their head? Maybe that's what it is. Good evening, y'all. We are back at home. 
I was going to tell y'all to tea on this hair, but it's kind of messy now. So we'll talk about that probably like on Sunday or another day. But yeah, we back home. Let me take this purse off. We are back. I don't know if y'all can see that, but uh, my little perfume wall is looking cute. So up here, hello, help making sure I'm pointing right. That's my two berry, two Burberry her elixirs. This is my Chanel La Perla, my Zara's. I think that's like, yeah, Red Temptation Amber Fusion and Black Dark. My Dossier Urban Outfitters Dior Poison. And the Urban Outfitters is the Amber Vanilla, by the way, right here in the middle. Then down here, Joe Malone, Vetiver and Golden Vanilla, YSL, Mon Paris, Moschino Gold, right here. Sorry if I'm pointing wrong. The Arabian Perfume called Jazzy, Ebony Wood from Zara, Nude Bouquet from Zara, and Flair de Orangier from Zara. Sorry if I'm saying that name wrong. So that's what we got. All my other perfumes or fragrances I am throwing out. They barely have like a couple of squirts in them. It's no point of putting them up here. So I'm actually going to extend this either all the way down or I might get shorter shelves and continue right here. But yeah, that looks good, you guys. I, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you like it or you don't like it? If you do like it, cool. If you don't like it, cool, right? So that's how it turned out. Remember at first I was struggling like a you know a day or two ago on this. Finally got it right. I love it so much. Obviously, I'm building my perfume or fragrance collection, so it'll be many, many more. At the top right here, y'all see how I got that photo that I got from Ross? That I, I think that's gonna look cute. That's kind of setting it off. It looks really, really cute. Look like some cute little decor over there. Don't be talking about me. It's cute. Cute. It's cute to me. Okay, it might not be cute to you, but it's cute to me. Okay. So this is my room, by the way. So yeah, that's what we got as far as like all the perfume. I, it's so cute. This looking like three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty, six, sixteen fragrances. And I'm looking to get. I'm, I'm trying to build up the thirty-two. Okay. Anyway, you guys, I look so like I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm tired. And went to Dee Dee's, y'all. We went to Trader Joe's. I know y'all don't care about no Trader Joe's haul. I have did Trader Joe's hauls on my channel before. I don't think I got a video entitled Trader Joe's hauls because it's not that serious. Everybody been going to Trader Joe's for many, many years now. It ain't that serious. Y'all know my favorite snacks. I bought some new stuff, but I don't think that matters. Anyway. We went to D Z's. I ain't doing no trial haul though. I mean, I might, I might in this vlog, y'all might see this on. I, I don't know how long I want this vlog, but anyway, let me show y'all real quick what I got. I only got, well, I got two items with the other item in the car. I'll show y'all in the morning. So I got this cargo skirt. Y'all see that? Very, very cute. When I tell you I tried this on, y'all, and you could drawstring it. Y'all see how I drawstringed it? It's cute. I'm going to wear, like, some booties with it and a sweater. I'm going to wear this to work. Very, very classy for work. I know y'all don't be seeing me. I know y'all don't be seeing me in class and stuff. Okay? But we going to, but but this is how we dress at work. It's just none of y'all business, okay? So, got the little pockets on the sides. Got the drawstring. Make it loose, tight, whatever. And it got the little split back there. It's not a hoochie split, though. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oops. Yeah, it's not a hoochie split. So we good. And it has the drawstring at the waist. This is a size small. This is the only one they had. And it fits. And it hugs all my curves, y'all. So it's cute. I'm a little bloated these days, but we're going to make it work because this was the only one they had left, okay? So that's why we're making it work. It fit good, though. Y'all, why well, I got this at $4.49? Y'all see that? Oops, can you blur it? Can you not blur it? Four dollars and 49 cents. And this is the brand I believe is what it says. So, yeah, you guys, I like this. I'm gonna wear this to work on Monday or Wednesday because on Tuesday we're gonna wear like all uh, we're gonna wear pink or something like that for breast cancer awareness. I can't even talk. 
Let me pull the camera up so y'all can see me. But anyway, you guys, I, I, that's all I had to say for today. Because guess what? I'm going to pick y'all back up in the morning and y'all going to find out what we're going to do. I know it's going to say in the title, but we're going to be up early in the morning. Y'all probably pretty much already put two and two together. I'll see y'all in the morning. And that's that on that. Good morning, y'all. This angle is sending me, and this road ain't, I mean, this ride ain't the most smoothest ride. But y'all, as you can tell, I ain't got no makeup on, no lashes, no nothing. We are taking a little road trip. A little road trip. It's your favorite YouTuber. She's getting ice. Look at this. Two cups. Mm -mm -mm. All of straws. We don't need all of straws. What you good in? Look at these guys. Ooh. And sassy bites. <laughs> uh, 
You ain't get me one? You uh, yes, why you didn't get me one? You want the hot one? You want yeah. the hot one? Yeah. Spicy today, guys. I like those olive greens. Okay, we got some stuff. Look at that. Some basket stuff. Let me go get my food. They ain't called my order in a long time. Okay, enough. Y'all, okay. Y'all, we made it back in the car. These glasses are not blowing on me. These are kind of cute. Thank you. Okay, so y'all, we doing a Bucky's haul. For the food, for the food, for the food, for the food. And put on some hand sanitizer. Had to go back up in there because, you know, I no not see it, but my daughter was complaining about her food. And she said it wasn't hot enough. Now it's hot, ain't it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she got. You can show them what you got. The bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. Delicious. Yes. And then I got the cream cheese kolache. Same thing as a cheese Danish, but they call it kolache. So good. And I got it double warmed or double toasted, whatever you want to call it. It's double warm. I got the rhino or hippo. I think I got the rhino taco. I don't think you got the hippo. Whatever the bake, the one that had the bacon in it. I don't know. I got to look at my, whatever I say on the thing. I don't know. Where my thing at? Nah. Hippo taco. Okay. And it got like potato, bacon, salsa. It's the green salsa, by the way. Bacon, egg, cheese, all of it. So we're gonna tear that up. And I got me some um, green salsa on the side. I didn't want no sour cream. Sour cream is not the healthiest thing in the world. Got some chips for later. One, two, three Celsius. And that's all for next week, y'all. I'm just taking advantage. I got these Old Snap Potty Bites. Dark chocolate espresso beans. Dark chocolate almonds. And that is it. And I got like a medium cup of ice, a large cup of ice, a whole bunch of like packets of like hot sauce in here. And then I got me a coffee. My sunglasses fell, y'all. I got me a coffee. So, oh, you ain't gonna tell them what you got? You ain't tell them nothing you got. Um, Miss Jada got a Slim. Not Miss Jada. Slim Jim. Girl, bye. Then we have one of my favorites. What drop? Nothing, my Slim Jim fell. We have one of my favorites, the Gold Peak Extra Sweet Tea. Extra Sweet Tea. It's like Cane's Tea. So, you have to get the extra. Then I got me these airhead thingies. They was a dollar. I wanted to try them. I never seen them before. Um, these ropes, I guess. I wanna see. They're probably not even gonna be sour, so. Then, I got me the Old Snaps pickles. And that's it. You know, I didn't get too much like my mom did, so. There is this shade? Yes, it is. Girl, you bought up the whole store. No, I didn't. You they said, just seen what I bought. No, you bought up the whole store after you said, "Don't get too much in here now." Well, it's thirty dollars. All my stuff was a dollar. We on the theory, y'all. My daughter got the hammer for the crab. We sure did. We gotta go back to the Dollar General have a hammer. Y'all, the last time I took my daughter on the theory, she was like three. And she didn't know that that's what this was. She saw my daddy. Y'all gotta turn that music down. Anybody got any notes or anything, Jay? Anybody got any notes? Yeah, Jay, you 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 got any notes? Yeah, so we on the ferry, y'all. I haven't been on a ferry in like some years. Mm-hmm. We've been on 
this is our view. Nice, nice. Another ferry is coming in, and we're going out. You look, ain't nobody on that boat on the top. dress for the day we about to get ready to go do some shopping and run some errands it's sunday happy sunday happy sunday y'all see this hair i had to wash this hair it's still in like a natural state i kind of like you know detangled it and put some heat protectant on it because y'all about to laugh but a bird pooped on my head and my back yesterday when we went fishing and went to the beach and stuff it was like one of them seagulls yeah a bird pooped on me. So I'm about to straighten his hair and we're gonna see what this new flat iron that I told y'all gonna do. It's amazing, but hopefully, you know, it comes through again. I've already used it. This hair was straight already. And then that happened yesterday. So I'm about to straighten it again. I thought I already washed it. I already washed my hair and everything again. I was mad that I had to wash my hair again and do this all over again. So it's set to 430. It's not the highest setting. The highest setting is 450. So we about to flat iron. I almost said wash. We already washed the hair. We about to flat iron his hair and see what it do. Okay, y'all. Ooh, how to blend that better. We all straight. Except for that little piece. I kind of did a rush job on this, but it looks good. I'm about to show y'all in a minute. Show y'all how it turned out. It looks good, doesn't it, you guys? I love this flat iron, y'all. So this is a Remington Shine Therapy. And it's doing a job. Y'all see that Remington Shine Therapy. I love it. I feel so hot in my outfit. Only because it's that time of the month. And I be getting a lot of hot flashes around this time of the month. By the way, these are the Amazon infamous sunglasses. 
I'm not gonna talk about the D word, but there are they are similar to the Bottegas. Cause I heard something you can't use the D word. If y'all know what the D word is, look at it. We can't say that or something like that on YouTube. I forgot why. I didn't hear nothing about why we couldn't say it, but I'm just gonna listen. I heard uh Platinum D speak on that. I love me some Platinum D, you guys. Make sure y'all subscribe to Platinum D's channel. Um, okay, it's not doing what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go, there we go. But yeah, I got like this black hoodie on. And by the way, these sunglasses was like $12 on Prime Days. Um, I got this like vest on that kind of ties on the side. This black hoodie on, which is cute, but I wish it was more cropped, which I am gonna crop it, to be honest. Yeah, it's cuter crop. And then um, I just got on these black leggings. That too is like wide band leggings. Y'all, it's that time of the month, y'all, and I am so blown. This is what they look like. You see the bloat? Crazy. Make my butt, it's so bloated, make my butt look flat. <laughs> and then the shoes. I just got on these combat boots. So yeah, that's what we looking like today. I'm definitely gonna crop this. It looks so much better cropped. Cause it's cold, but it ain't that cold. And we going to some places. So I want to look kind of good. And y'all know when I wear crop things, I feel the most comfortable. I know that sound weird for some of y'all, but for me personally, um, when my shirt ain't like loose at the bottom or if it's like tighter at the bottom, that's cute too. I like tighter shirts. I'm probably gonna go to Dee Dee's and buy me some more long sleeve shirts. That's, I think that's the problem here. So I'm about to put on some more jewelry and the bag I'm carrying. I'm gonna carry this bag when she in. I should put a gold chain on it, but I'm not. I don't know why I feel so uncomfortable. I guess because it's the time of the month. Like, I just feel uncomfortable. And the only thing I don't like about this jacket is that you can't see my necklaces. There we go. Okay. Now you can see my necklaces. Okay. Well, I need to take care of some business before I go go before I go go. I need to take care of some business before I go shopping. I need to get my daughter some stuff. Because her homecoming is in less than two weeks. And by the way, this puffer jacket, this puffer vest or whatever, y'all, it's from Rainbow. I got this like months ago. This uh, hoodie, I got this from like these months ago. So, I think I got everything packed. I don't need to bring this oil. Let me go ahead and put some oil on my hands. I got some packages that are delivering today. It ain't no major packages in LA, like that, you guys. Ooh, these glasses look cute on me. It ain't no major glass, I mean, packages, I'm gonna say glasses. But, it's stuff that I need. So. <sighs> oh, let's see. <laughs> How did fit? That was a perfect show. Yeah. Today, so today is spoiled Jada day. Huh? Cause she's in line at Zara. Look at the camera. You're in line, you're in line at Zara. You're getting what? Getting what? What you getting oh. at Zara? I'm getting pink slumber. She been dying to get this. She ran out. She been getting on my nerves about it. She was shocked that I came up here and wanted to buy it. Look how I look today, y'all. Y'all can see this a little bit more better. Hold on. Yeah. This mirror is dirty. But this is how I look today. Your girl is gorgeous today. Look at the fit. Don't mind that dirt. Y'all see this dirt at the bottom? I look cute. So cute. The face is giving. Ooh. 
Okay, anyway, can you show them your bags? Getting spoiled today, you guys. Period. Zara, baby. and what else? And Shoe Palace. Yeah. Getting her dress altered. Her homecoming dress is getting altered today. How did it feel? She said, Oh, you need more? Three bad bitches fucking on me. Top low at my bed out here. Fuck that trunk in this hip hop. Whoa, I had to run. I'll be back a couple months. Kettle turn 21, but they won't see me on the ones. I got. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I did not want to pick. Well, it's not like I didn't want to. I wasn't planning on picking up the camera today. Don't mind the messy hair. I got to y'all. I just recently colored it. I've been doing a lot, y'all. I've been y'all. I've been so busy. Um, this first this probably going to be how I'm planning this out. It's looking like this is the second half of the vlog because this vlog is going to be pretty long. I'm not too sure if it's going to be pretty long or not, but I know. Oh my God. It's driving. But I know that this is going to be half of the vlog. Because a lot has, like y'all, it's been like two and a half weeks since I posted a video. Yeah. So anyway, you guys. Welcome back to another day in a vlog. I am on my way to the gym. I need to be drinking on this LC while talking to y'all. Mm. Today's flavor is peach vibe. I haven't been really finishing Celsius like that. I guess because I really don't need them. I really don't need Celsius. None of us really need Celsius. That's a whole nother question. I mean, that's a whole nother conversation. I'm sorry. This rope. Huh? That's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. But we really don't need it, but it helps. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't been finishing it. Like, but I can't really say haven't been because we're going to get into this conversation right now. Y'all. I am in a fantastic mood. I'm in a good place in life. And let me tell y'all what's been going on. And you gonna be y'all gonna be like, how are you in a good place and this happened? So me and my boyfriend broke up. Yes, 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 yes. My baby and I with my ex-boyfriend and I, we broke up. And uh I'm not sad about it, I'm not brokenhearted about it because of the reasoning. It was an amicable, I don't know if you say that word like that, amicable or amicable, whatever. But it was actually agreed that we should break up. Sorry, y'all, I'm kind of driving in this bumpy parking lot. Um, we both agreed on splitting or breaking up. And I'll just go ahead and keep it short so I don't tell everybody my business because this ain't y'all business. The reason why we broke up, you guys, is because of timing and real life, okay? Now, if y'all could kind of get where I'm going with this, y'all, I met my boyfriend while I was on vacation, or my ex-boyfriend. Now he's my ex. Um, I met my ex while I was on vacation, okay? While I was, you know, is this a parking spot right here? Because, it... oh, no, it's not. Um, Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to find a good parking spot. Okay, but uh, I met my ex while I was on vacation. When you're on vacation, it's not like necessarily like your everyday life, okay? Hold on, y'all, let me focus. Yeah, it's not necessarily like your everyday life. So literally, like you're enjoying yourself. You're actually uh, getting away from your everyday life. You're not doing your everyday routine. You're not working. You're not going to school. You're not, this is like, a vacation from reality right okay y'all see where i'm getting it so me and my boyfriend or uh, me and my ex we were together for about two and a half months or so because obviously y'all can clock it um because i vlogged about it by the way you guys i'm not taking those videos down okay and i'm gonna tell y'all why 
um, or editing them or whatever y'all want to say. I, I think if people do stuff or something happen, they be taking stuff down. I don't know why. I don't know why. My life is my life. My truth is my truth. Ain't nothing bad happen. I'm going to tell y'all what's going on. Oh, this hell. Ooh, I'm glad I'm going to the gym and not nowhere important. This is horrible. Um, but anyway, you guys, um, let me stop getting sidetracked. Okay. So anyway, we broke up because of real life. And when we met on vacation, obviously you're in a happy place, you're in a good place, ain't nothing going on, you ain't got nothing, you know, you're on vacation. Um, after we got back from vacation, it, we, we were still in, ugh, why well, I can't talk on these vlogs? We were still on vacation mode. We didn't have too much going on when we got back. He didn't start his new job. I'm not trying to say all his business, but he didn't start his new job until about a couple of weeks into us being back. And of course, he had started uh, furthering his ed education. Okay, so he was working a new job, or, you know, at a new place. Plus, starting, you know, uh, school uh, back to school. He was back in school to further his education. So that requires a lot of anybody's time, right? But at the same time, he was making it work after he started. But the load got heavy and heavy as time progressed the load his load was getting real heavy okay so long story short it did not work out now yes you could be together with somebody and through their seasons of struggle pain it wasn't even pain just transitions in a life there's but when you have to go through those things a little earlier in the relationship sometimes either party or one party or both parties are not willing to continue on because you're going through adversity earlier in the relationship it's not like you know in the middle of a relationship like we didn't have no years behind us we were still actually to be honest with you guys we were still getting to know each other while being in a relationship yes you can't stop getting to know somebody but there were basic things basics that we were getting to know each other about in this relationship that you usually would get to know um, of somebody while you're dating them, while you're friends with them, while you're taking your time to get to know that person before you get into a relationship. We were doing those things after saying, I want to be with you, okay? Now, is that normal? Absolutely, yes. Because like I said, you never stop getting to know somebody and stuff like that. But like I said, you pile on that Plus, you know, facing the adversity in our relationship as far as him being in school. And then on top of that, you know, the thing is, you guys, um, in relationships, you know, he was telling me something and it was very, very true. And I was actually catching on to it. You know, we was dating a lot. Like literally we was going like two to three dates a week like hanging out two to three and that's fine you know in a relationship that's fine that's normal hey if you gotta have date night several times that's fine but he had school and work this is new for him these were new things in his life that he was going through in in between of us being in that relationship and it so happened to be in the beginning of our relationship begin because obviously we weren't together that long you know so all in all you guys it's just the timing just timing so this is all I got to say about this, okay? He was an amazing boyfriend. I mean, treated me like royalty, okay? All the way up until, like, we broke up. Treated like royalty. He ain't said nothing wrong to me. He never disrespected me. He never did. Whatever he did didn't have nothing to do with us, you know, breaking up. Like, he never did, like, no cheating or nothing, as far as I know. Like, he ain't really did nothing, you know? I don't have nothing to heal from because this was an amazing relationship. You know what I'm saying? And we wasn't in it for that long, but it wasn't like tumultuous. It wasn't, we never had an argument. We had like one or two disagreements, but it was about the same thing. And it was really in a joking matter. I mean, it wasn't nothing. Our split or our breakup had nothing to do with the things that you would expect. You know what I'm saying? So all in all, I don't have nothing to heal from. I've had I had an amazing two and a half months with this man, and I will do it all over again. Really, one of the things that we were talking about when we did uh, decide to call it quits is further down the line, if we ever cross paths again, or we decide that we want to give it another go, 
it's a go. Yeah, ooh, I'm spitting. <laughs> it's a go. You know, it's not. It's not gonna be a question of no, I don't want to do it no more, whatever like that. Now, timing matters in that too, because I might find somebody else. Wow, he might come looking for me, right? Because remember, my 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 ex boyfriend came looking for me when I was on that cruise boat or that ship or on vacation. I didn't go find my man. I didn't have no expectations of being in a relationship. Now that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day, because I really be helping y'all when it comes to expectations. Please do not have expectations, okay? That's another thing, because that's I think a lot of people. That's why they be having these horrible breakups because they go into them having expectations. I wasn't expecting to be in a relationship anyway, you know? So he really swept me off my feet. Now, was I truly in love? Absolutely, I still love that man. I still love him. I still love him because we just broke up like a few days ago, okay? I still love him. And I'm, I know it's the same, it's, you know, he still love me or whatever like that, but time it. You know, timing matters and that's important. You don't want to bring somebody into your mess or into something that if you're trying to get your life together in any aspect and you don't know how to juggle it, that's important too. Like if you know what you're doing and you know how to juggle it, by all means, stay in your relationship. But if you don't know how to juggle those things or you're trying to figure some things out or if you just got a lot of your plate and it's a little earlier on in your relationship, it's not going to hurt to go ahead and not drag that person so you won't resent them. You know, drag your drag that person with you. Now, on my end, because remember, it was amicable, right? Okay, so let's get to my end. Y'all, I enjoy being single. There were times, y'all, <laughs> and I have told my girls this. If y'all are close with me and we talked in the DMs, text messages, talked on the phone, y'all already know that me and this man, you know, broke up or we talked about it or whatever. Y'all, I enjoy being single. I enjoy doing my own thing, being by myself sometimes. And another thing to you guys, remember I was talking about how I was in love and stuff like It's still in love. I don't regret the love part. But, and he was doing great things. I was talking about my man, my man, my man, my man. That's still the case. You know, he still was amazing. But I was neglecting myself. I wasn't doing things that I usually would do. I wasn't taking care of like making sure my, I guess, my well-being was in order. I was so focused on my relationship and making sure it was on point at all times, which is fine, but I wasn't going to the gym as often, y'all. That is a no-no. I wasn't going to, that's, that was, that's what really made it horrible, is that I wasn't going to the gym as often. Y'all, I was gaining relationship weight I was getting big, y'all. When in this relationship, y'all, I gained so much weight. So much weight. So much weight. Okay? That's a no-no. When I'm happy, I'm the opposite. You know how people, when they're happy and they on the up and up, we're in a relationship, not in life, because I was happy being single and I was still going, working out at the gym and stuff. So that don't got nothing to do with it, being happy. But when I'm in a relationship, I focus on the person more than myself. That's a no-no, you guys. You still got to focus on yourself and also focus, focus on focus, focus on that person as well, the relationship. Y'all, I was so focused on that man. <laughs> and I actually was crying for help a little bit. I was actually talking to y'all. Like, if y'all knew me on a daily basis or see me on a daily or just see me in person... I was telling y'all, like, I need to do things to get my mind off the man. I should be knowing these things of what I need to do because I was neglecting them, like going to the gym, doing, you know, stuff like that. Now, I was trying, you know, y'all was seeing in the vlogs, I was trying to go on my daily walks, going to work out, stuff like that. But I wasn't doing it as much when I was single. When I was single, I was doing it all the time. I was consistent my youtube my post on youtube were suffering i was planning on doing like two to three videos a week posting two to three videos a week and i wasn't doing that i was so focused on this man and that's not good you guys when i'm single i i talk to multiple men i juggle multiple men i go to i go on dates all the time trust me but 
I don't talk to those men on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just dating them. I'm not taking them serious. Or they're not a thing that crossed my mind every second, every minute, every hour. You know what I'm saying? And a relationship is different. So when you're dating them, you know, be like, okay, I see y'all. I see you on Friday. I see you on Thursday. And then you move on to the next dude. But you're still doing what you got to do because you're not involved with that person. You're not in a relationship with that person. So it's easier for you to still focus on yourself. So all in all, in a nutshell, I'm very, very happy whether I was with him. And, I was, and I'm very, very happy without him. Okay, but I'm happier without them because there are things that I was focusing on before, before I was in a relationship with this man. Remember, he caught me off guard. There were things that I was focusing on. Y'all, I'm trying to lose a little bit more weight before the holidays. You know, there are things that I want to obtain financially for myself first before I'm in a relationship with someone else. Yes, he can. He was able to provide those things. God bless him. I'm, I'm grateful for that. A lot of people pray for a man with financial stability and a man that is well off, very well off man, amazing man, smart, intelligent, funny, all that. But you remember, I already told you his side of things. It wasn't going to work out for him. And for me, I don't want him to buy everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to make sure my life is together. You know what I'm saying? So all in all, it worked out for the greater good for us not to be together. Yes, I am never regretting ever being in love with this man. I love him. I still love him. Even though I'm about to go on a date soon. But I still love him. But I don't have nothing to heal from because he did nothing wrong. This relationship wasn't bad. Okay? So I don't have any healing to do. <laughs> okay? All I'm doing is adjusting or readjusting back to being single. That's all. I'm in tr back in transition mode of back being by myself and focusing on Jessica only. And also, you guys, to add to this, my life is about to change in the next few months. My daughter is about to get her first car. She's about to get her first job. I'm going to have a little bit more time on my hands. Okay? I want to see what that's like before I add someone else to the mix. I might enjoy that a little bit too much and then I'm in a relationship and I start resenting him. You know what I'm saying? Remember I was telling him how he had so much on his plate and he might he was telling me how he might resent me for always being there and being there for him, but he wasn't able to be there for himself because he had so much going on. I might resent him for being down for me in this transition stage that I'm about to go through. You know what I'm saying? And I hope you guys can relate to what I'm saying. So all in all, you guys, I am in a good place. I'm pulled up at the gym. I'm pulling, y'all, I ate really, really good today. I'm up in my protein, my water intake, making sure I'm not eating the wrong things. Y'all, when I was in this relationship, I was eating a whole bunch of carbs. Yeah, y'all see this breakout, but it's going away. But that was because my period, like I just got over a period or whatever. That's that's a hormonal boat. Um, but anyway, you guys, that's hormones. But anyway, you guys, like y'all, I was not focused, okay? And I've been lately just working. I was trying to focus, but I wasn't fully executing. I need to co continue to declutter. You know, I'm I did good. Um, these past couple of days by decluttering these clothes, getting all that out my space, making sure my space is a little bit more open, not too congested. Just a lot, you know? So all in all, I'm talking in circles. All in all, I am happy that this actually happened at the time that it did instead of prolonging and we would have had problems in our relationship. And I don't want that because he's an amazing guy okay he's an amazing guy and look even if we don't reconnect in the future it's okay because i wish him nothing but the best and i hope he finds somebody at the time when he's ready because again you guys i want to let y'all know something men i heard this i could be wrong but men when they want to be in a relationship they choose the one that's around when he's wanting to be in a relationship I might not be around when he's finally ready to start back over and want to be in a relationship again, okay? And me, 
when he hit me up, I might not want to be in a relationship with him. I still want to, you know, sort, sort my royal oats. <laughs> Or I might have chosen somebody else and it might be too late. Or, you know, I just don't want to be with him anymore. You know, it could be anything. You know what I'm saying? So timing is so important. And like I said, real life got in the way. And it's all right. It's all right. Was I upset, you guys, that we had to make this decision conjointly? Absolutely. But I did call it. I did call it about a week before we broke up. I was like, mm, something not right here. It's too much changes. I don't think I'm going to be able to handle it. And I actually had a conversation. And me and him have very healthy communication. So we always had hard conversations. We never, you know, we never, never drifted away from having those hard conversations, you guys. And that's very important if you guys are looking to be in a relationship. For those who are searching and actively searching for a boyfriend, which I don't understand. But if you are seeking to be in one, make sure that you are ready to have those hard conversations. Because it can either end up you being still with that person and working on this thing or making a good to sound decision and say oh this is not going to work out so we always had those conversations and we did have a hard one a week before we broke up okay so all in all y'all i'm so happy to be back to jessica i was doing very very well i was i still was doing well with him but i'm do i do i just do if i just well i can't talk i do better when i'm alone okay in my own solitude okay so anyway these bumps into me i'm about to go up in the gym y'all i've been talking to y'all i have not finished it still see it's getting late but i'm really gonna really really do this workout if i don't film today i'm gonna make sure i film one of my workouts because i want to make sure you know y'all see what your girl been doing for the past few days it's only been a few days you guys of me being single but yeah, you guys, I'm enjoying it. Like I said, I got a couple of, not just one day. I got a couple of dates planned. I'm trying to go out. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm adjusting real fast. I don't know. I cried once and that was it. And I actually ended up crying just to tell my business instead of talking about him because he's out the picture. Let's talk about Jessica. Like, yeah, my emotions was all over the place because I was like, I don't want to do this, but I got to do this. I was crying. Okay, but when I cry, I cry about once, twice, and I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's let's get, let, hey, 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 hey. Let's pick up your chin and let's go. And this is a whole different Jessica because y'all know I let stuff defeat me. Y'all know if y'all been watching me for a long time, y'all know that I used to let stuff defeat me. Not anymore because there's nothing that I'm feeling defeated about. It's a good thing, you guys. So I guess that's why I'm not feeling defeated, you know. So I hope you guys can relate to this conversation because I've been talking for 22 minutes. <laughs> I'm probably, I might cut it down. I might not. I might keep it real raw and uncut because <laughs> I don't care what people think. This is my life. This is my story. And I'm not apologizing for it, you guys. That's why I said everything that I say on this channel, I will never delete it. Never. <laughs> you know, you see how I'm looking? Mm-hmm. I would never delete it because I meant it when I said it. And, and do I feel any type of remorse for anything? No, because it's my life and God put me through everything for a reason. There's nothing to be sorry about. And this is a message to y'all. Don't be deleting that stuff. Now, if you said something foul, now, if you said something foul, of course, but I ain't said nothing foul, you know, so but anyway you guys i'm about to head up in the gym i just love y'all so much and i thought i owed it to y'all because i had eight y'all i'm holding them nine eight videos of me being in a relationship this is two and a half months eight videos of me talking about this man and so at least i can give y'all one video of me saying that hey just letting y'all know don't be asking about him you know from this point forward <laughs> going forward because he ain't in the picture we back to our single antics okay and i'm back to have my three four five dudes that i'm dating <laughs> because i can handle it look that works for me you guys i can handle it okay 
Yeah. Only the strong survive out here in the dirt, in the dating world, world or whatever. But uh, I don't think it's pee in it. I have success dating because I don't have, you know, expectations of these men. I date them. They don't want to communicate. The next person gonna communicate while he ain't communicate. So it's okay. You know, it ain't no big deal. Plus, I'm doing. I'm busy anyway. I got. I got a life, so I ain't worried. I ain't wait by the phone for some dude I'm dating. See, I was doing that in a relationship. You can do that in a relationship because they owe you that. But when you dating, they don't owe you nothing. And I don't owe them nothing because sometimes I be like them. I ain't about to communicate because I don't owe you nothing. You not my man. And I like that. I actually like that. So, anyway, you guys, back to focusing on Jessica. This is an amazing, amazing conversation. I actually had this talk with my mom. We're trying to work on our, look, I'm trying to work on my relationship with my mama. I'm 34 years old, y'all. It's a lot I'm trying to work on. And I'm glad that I had a heart to heart with her about this. That's amazing. That's beautiful. You know? So, uh, yeah. And my daughter is very happy about this too. Even though she was happy because I was happy in my relationship, but she knew that I wasn't being myself. And yes, he was always making sure that she was good. That was the amazing part about him. But at the same time, my daughter knows too. You know, she approved of him. She did approve of him. He, like I said, everybody approved of him. He met my parents. Everything was fine, like I said. But timing, you guys, and it's okay. But I'm ready to party, party, party. I'm ready for the next chapter, chapters of my life. I'm ready to enjoy my life finally. Y'all know I had to grow up fast. Being, I was a teen mom. I had to stop college and on my freshman year of college just to give birth to my child, okay? And now here we are 16 years later and now we we transition into a whole new chapter and I have to be able to handle these things as a mom, as a parent, you know, before I just add somebody else to the mix, y'all know? So... Yeah, that's a whole nother conversation for, for a whole nother day. But I did tell y'all during Vlogtober, I was going to dedicate a being more open on my channel. And I hope you guys appreciate this as much as I appreciate you guys. And let's keep the vlog rolling because this is in the middle of the vlog. I love y'all, and if y'all got this far, drop a comment. I love y'all so much, and of course, about half of y'all, I didn't already didn't, not half of y'all, let me shut up, that's exaggerated, about a few of y'all, like four, five of y'all, that I'm really close with, that y'all are subscribed to my channel, and we have already talked about this, because y'all follow me on Instagram, so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, at beautifulmind1989. Again, at BeautifulMind1989, and I might change my Instagram name soon, but for right now, that's my Instagram name. So, anyway, you guys, off to the gym, and I'll catch y'all on the next clip. Bye. Pain away, I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I... Hey. Yeah, I got one lawyer, got one in that day, the only two, man. How many times have I told you the truth, man? How many nights I've been working up? Good morning, y'all. I always do that that hand. Anyway, good morning, y'all. <laughs> we about to go run some errands. I'm doing a whole bunch of curbside pickups. But it's so crazy how I focus on looking the part and I'm not really getting out the car. Kind of weird. But anyway, I'm going to wear these sunglasses today or this morning. They have like spots in them. Y'all know that drives me crazy. It's kind of like a little oily looking, but these are one of my favorite sunglasses. I got these from like Fashion House. They have like a blue to yellow tint, I think. I don't know if y'all can see that. These are cute. All I got is my brows filled in poorly. I got on some lashes from Amazon. Some very, very, very um, natural looking ones. And just some gloss from Kiss wig not even co-washed washed done one of the items that i'm getting today we're actually let me just go ahead and talk about it we're going to target and um to pick up a curbside order and we're gonna go ahead and pick up my package from amazon i got it sent to one of them lockers that's by my house um because i didn't want to pick it up from my parents house i don't feel like driving all the way over there so but anyway you guys this is what we're wearing today 
just something light. Look, I just threw it together, you guys. It ain't nothing cute or nothing like that. So don't even expect, don't be expecting what you expected. I don't know if y'all can see this. Like literally, I just got on some um, biker shorts. Y'all can see it's biker shorts. This uh, jacket that I got, all this is from Didi's. This is a Didi special. Blue, navy blue biker shorts. Jacket is from Didi's. Can y'all see this? It look kind of weird, huh? I don't know. Maybe it's the shadows. But yeah. Um, I don't know why the shadow look like this. This is how we look in the day. Looking thick. Thicker than zoo glass. And then uh, underneath the jacket is just a blue t-shirt. It's all blue. I'm wearing all navy blue. <laughs> Except for my little my little belt bag right here. Or my little fanny pack, whatever you're going to call it. I'm going to just put it around my shoulder. Like on my shoulder like this. Because I need to get up out of here. See? I'm just going to put it on my shoulder like this. Because I'm not getting out the car. And then uh, I just got on like these slides and some socks. <laughs> so this is how we looking today. Something slight. Because I got some errands to run. I'm about to get some. I'm about to go pick up some light bulbs. But it's light over here and in my room. Because the lighting is atrocious in my home. It looks like ain't no lights in here. And it is lights in here. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I got some stuff like some coffee. All kind of stuff that I gotta pick up from Target and all that. So, I'm about to take y'all with me. Let's go. Okay, y'all, so we made it to the Amazon locker. This area a little sketchy, so bear with me, bear with me. I got my stuff, I got my stuff, y'all. <laughs> cut y'all off because I had to sign for it on my phone so I had to cut y'all off real quick but yeah we got the goods right now I'm drinking a kombucha oh lord I'm drinking a kombucha right now because I'm probably not gonna have my coffee until the afternoon you guys I'm in an afternoon coffee drinker for some reason speaking of coffee this I've never had this one this is the orange brown stoke this is the espresso blend this is unsweet darkest rose still smooth i've always gotten the uh green one or purple bottle so we're gonna do this one espresso uh why well, keep saying espresso it's us espresso i'm country espresso blend i don't even think that's country i think that's just kind of illiterate but anyway espresso blend and we're gonna try this out hopefully it's really really strong y'all let me tell y'all something I'm really a bad girl because I don't know why I keep buying. Okay, y'all know how I'm trying to save money, right? By buying that again, right? Because I don't go to Starbucks as often anymore. I think I save Starbucks just for the weekends only, if that. Y'all, I have a whole Keurig at my house that I have not opened. I have not opened that Keurig yet. Let's just get off that. You see how I changed the subject real fast? That is not good. I got me some more. Uh, y'all, I have been putting y'all on since my summer morning routine about these. All the girlies know about these. If you a girly girly, if you a girl, or you all that in the bag of chips, you know about Dow Gold Bar. This is an antibacterial soap. I've been using... Sorry, y'all. I had got a phone call. Why is this so messy? Like, it's so oily. Okay, that's better. Sorry, y'all. I had got a phone call, so it is what it is on that. But yeah, you guys, um, the gold uh, dial is the best one. I'm trying to look at my back. I'm, I always pick y'all up when I'm backing up. 
don't know. I don't know why I do that. That's so dangerous. Kids don't try this at home. But yeah, so I got this, the Dow Gold Bar for face and down there, like especially like in the creases and stuff when it get all dirty and stuff. I just feel clean with that soap. So I use that for specialty areas, including my face and stuff. Um, also, you guys, um, I got me another mousse. I'm gonna try this mousse out, y'all. I like my hair big, it looks pretty. I just recently colored it or bleached it or whatever y'all wanna call it. Try to do this fake ombre. Y'all Y'all know I ain't no pro with hair or makeup or clothes. But um, I think it looks good for the fall, even though I'm gonna switch my hair out two more times before this month is over with. Yes, two more times. Mm -hmm. um, but for this vlog sake, this is what the hair is gonna look like for the rest of the vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna tame my hair with this. I might use it for the first time when I go to the gym. Maybe I should do like a gym get ready with me. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea to put mousse in your hair before you go to the gym, but I need to tame this hair a little bit more for the gym. Yesterday, I know I picked the picture y'all up on camera. My hair was like really, really big. It was cute and all. I was getting, you know, I was getting the number the men's was men's in. They were saying, I like your hair. It looked big and pretty. They thought it was my hair, cool, whatever. But this, oh Lord. Oh Lord. But yeah, I need to tame this a little bit more better. I actually want to wear like more of an a sleek look today for the gym. So I'll show y'all how this gonna turn out later on. How about that? I'll show y'all. So this is Aussie Miracle Curls Mousse Maximum Hold. Can y'all see that? This sun ain't okay. There y'all go. Y'all can see it. Okay, and yeah, it has coconut oil in it. So we're gonna see how this works and stuff like that. So and I got some stuff. Oh lord, this I can need a better amount. I'm gonna go on Shein. It's some stuff that I'm gonna order. Not on Shein on Amazon. Why I keep saying Shein? Um. Ooh, this mount. It's some stuff that I got to order next week. So, of course, I'm not going to include that in this vlog. And it's probably not going to be in that vlog either because it got to come in, right? So, anyway, um, that's what I got from Target. That's all I got from Target. What I got from Amazon, I never showed y'all. Ooh. Roll it, baby. I'm trying to open it. Kids, don't try this at home. Y'all see I'm opening this stuff while driving. Because I got stuff to do. I was like, I was about to pull out my car scissors. Y'all, please keep a pair of car scissors, pepper spray. Please. Anyway, I got these. Remember I told y'all, I'm trying to, y'all see it now. Yeah, I got these to fix the lighting in my apartment. My lighting or my whatever you call it, light fixtures accepts only these types of bulbs these candle bulbs so i hope these fit it looks like they'll fit but y'all it's dark in my apartment i don't like that and all the fixtures are from the 90s my apartment is like so outdated i told y'all that my fixtures in in my room or this fixture this seal i hate ceiling fans i just don't like them it's from the 1990s to me but I just put the Amazon lights in. And it's still daylight outside. So if y'all see like lighting changes, that's the window right there. Y'all, watch this. Ah! Oh, do y'all see how bright it is? It's blind in the camera. Okay, y'all. So we are freshly co-washed or washed. Whatever you want to call this stuff. I don't know, y'all. But it's like maybe 70% dry. Which is a good thing. I'm about to put this mousse on. Get ready for the jism. See how this works out. See, this the look. Like, you see how it looks now? Like, real sleek and it's not big like how it was earlier. That's the look I'm going for. Like, literally the look I'm going for. Hopefully, like, ooh, that looks good. Ooh. Ooh, the how. You can see the highlights better. You see that? That looks good. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now, don't get me wrong. I will be wearing it big again. <laughs> but for today's sake, I just want to see. 
Oh, I just want to see how it looks. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's going through like butter. Ooh, I like this. Okay, I'll see. I'll see curls. Miracle curls. Working miracles, because I sure needed one. Because this hair was big. Oh, yeah, it's going through like butter. I know y'all see this edge, but I don't be caring when I go to the gym. Sometimes I'll be wearing hats. But I'm not going to wear a hat today. Well, obviously, I'm putting mousse in my hair. That's kind of like an oxymoron. I don't know. Should I wear a hat today? I got this, like, old hat that got, like, L.A. on it that I be wearing to the gym. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I might wear a hat today. That might be a good idea. Sometimes I don't be feeling like laying my wigs down. Like, I be wanting to look cute and sporty. But y'all know I got alopecia, y'all. I don't be wearing my real hair out all the time. Like, I don't want to be pulling at my hair, putting it in ponytails. I got hair on my head, y'all, but it ain't like the strongest hair. Obviously, you know, I have a mild case of alopecia, so I can't just keep pulling out on it. I, I always wear my protective styles, a.k.a. my wigs. So if it look like I'm wearing two hats, a.k.a. a wig and a hat, that's two hats, then oh well. I'm putting on my Fitbit. This Fitbit was given to me for Christmas, ankle socks. So yeah, we're gonna put these on. The bottoms, or the outfit, excuse me. Some pink, like the little pants, but they don't fit me right though, cause they kinda too big at the band. I don't know, it don't look right. I don't know. Pull them up. It don't look right. And then underneath you guys, I have my uh fitness belt. That's why I look kind of wonky right here. But I put my uh my little belt bag so y'all can't really tell right here. And then uh but I'm putting this I'm putting this top on top because I be liking to wear like something on my arms. I be cold, kind of cold in the gym. So I'm about to put this on right now. And put on my socks and shoes and get ready to get up out of here so later on I can show y'all. It's like maybe two clothing items from Shein. Y'all, it's nothing. It's nothing. I need to figure out what Halloween costume I'm going to wear or what I'm wearing for Halloween. I don't like how that looked at all. Is there a way that I could put this where this top doesn't go across? Like, y'all know what I mean? Let me take this off. I'm not gonna wear this. I'm just gonna wear a hat. <laughs> Where is my hat? I need to give me some more workout shoes, but I've been working out in these because I haven't been wearing them as leisure wear anymore. I've been wearing these to the gym. They help me when I squat and do stuff. They're very comfortable. This is the hike style Converse. They're comfortable to wear to the gym. Now, as far as when I run, like when I'm outside and run, y'all see what shoes I wear. I wear Adidas and Nike, Nike shoes, like Nike Roche and Adidas, I mean, sorry, Adidas. Adidas and like other brands to run in, like more comfortable, because these are not running shoes. But I go to the gym, like the indoor gym in these. So I don't know if you guys were confused. But I'm about to get me some new workout shoes. I'm thinking about getting those uh, blazers, some blazers, because they're really, really flat. And I need flat shoes when I'm lifting and squatting and stuff. So, one day I'm going to show y'all me lifting and squatting. But most of the time when I'm doing that, there's men around. There's me. I know that sounds horrible. But there be people, not just men, but it's mostly men at the gym. That's what I mean, you guys. But it's mostly people around when I'm doing it, and I don't want to put my camera out. That's why y'all don't see me doing, like, bottom workouts, because all those machines is where all the men is at. Anyway, enough of that. That's explaining too much. Um, y'all, J. Korean. Girl, look how much I got left in this. Can you send me another one? No, I'm just playing. I'm going to go ahead and order me off a of dossier. This is the Floral Lang Lang. I hope I'm saying this right. Y'all, I wear this to the gym every day. Every day. I just like to feel clean. I And I'm one of those ones, by the way, you guys, I'm one of those ones that shower before I go to the gym. <laughs> Sorry. I shower before and I shower after. And I don't think I shower. I don't think it's about like showering right before I go to the gym, but I shower 
earlier that day. And then when I come back to the gym, I shower when I get back to be fresh again. So two showers a day is me. That's two showers a day minimum. That's me. Okay. So, okay, y'all. This gloss I'm wearing or putting on is called Janique, Janae Cosmetics. Another item gifted by J. Corinne. I love this so much. All right, goodness. So pretty. Yeah, please subscribe to Jay Corinne's channel, you guys. I'm using all the stuff she didn't get me. I even wore some of the stuff that she gave me on vacation when I went on my cruise. I just ain't vlog because I told y'all what happened on the vacation. So what I got in my little belt bag or fanny pack is just my little wallet. I don't want to show y'all what they look like. You might have some scammers and jackers on this video that's watching me. And then, of course, the lip gloss. That is it. I'm about to put on another layer of deodorant. <laughs> Can't have too much deodorant. Mm -hmm. I'll be talking about people up in the gym when they be musky. So, mm -hmm. make sure. And I decided to go with the hat look. You already seen the outfit. Um, shoes, you already seen. I'm about to pop open my uh, Celsius. Today's Celsius is sparkling strawberry lemonade. This is my favorite. This is my favorite one. So we gonna drink this. We gonna drink this today. I'm happy. Oh, I gotta get my glasses. This is what we be looking like, honey. Sometimes I wear earrings. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I wear a necklace. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I wear a bracelet. Sometimes, y'all, I really don't be wearing no jewelry to uh, the gym. It is not that serious. And yeah, I got me some headphones that I always wear. These are Fisher headphones that I got from like DDs. They on this last little leg because I didn't put tape around them. So when they really go out, y'all y'all can go ahead and talk about me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna take these off and hold them for right now. But yeah, you guys, I'm off to the gym. I'm gonna pick y'all back up when I get back so I can show y'all a couple of the items. I just wanna try them on to see if they fit because it's nothing too serious, like it's not. I'm just gonna show y'all some pieces and see how they look and try to figure out how I'm gonna match this stuff. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I get back from the gym. Layout. Okay, y'all. So I always do this, <laughs> but uh, anyway, you guys, I'm about to try out some stuff. I'm still hanging up pictures on this wall. I'm changing a lot of stuff up. So y'all see, like a thumb. It's a thumb tag. Ignore it. Try on some stuff, or show y'all some stuff first, and try on some stuff for she is. It's not a lot of stuff, so we ain't gonna be here long. So the first couple of items. Then I got some like earrings and stuff. These glasses I love. Oh my goodness, look at these. Oh, y'all can't tell me these ain't fire. Oh, I love these. This is like a silver gray tint. Looking cute and sporty, ordy, ordy. Gonna wear these with like sneakers all the time and boots. I just love this gray. I was gonna order those Amazon ones. These were like three or four bucks. I was gonna order those Amazon like silver ones or silver version of the other ones, uh, those shades that I showed y'all earlier in the vlog. But these are cute. And I don't wanna have some of the same style glasses. I'm not that type. Like I wanna have different styles of glasses all the way around. Y'all know what I'm saying? So. I think these are cute. Ooh, let me just put them on. They just survive. And they're comfortable to wear. Oh, and I got to see those. And I'm pretty sure they'll look so cute with like makeup on. I'm pretty sure of it. This hat I was gonna wear like with some boots or sneakers too. Now my hair is curly and big, so I don't know if it's gonna fit on my head right now. But I wanted to wear this hat with straight hair, like a straight, you know, bust down wig. And my hair underneath is not braided down flat. Like, it's not flat at all. So, I'm pretty sure this is not going to fit. Let me see. Ooh. Yeah. But it's cute, though. Look at that. That is too cute. Ooh. It looks weird now. Oh, hello. Let me bring it down at the back. There we go. It looks weird now. Well, does it look weird? Oh, I look kind of cute with the curly hair. Yeah. But I'm definitely going to wear it with straight hair, bone straight hair. I just 
isn't this the look? And this was like five dollars, maybe four or five dollars. And this is actually a men's hat, and it says N86 Brooklyn 20. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I just thought this was cute. It was a uh, cute to wear like sneakers or something. I don't know, y'all. Y'all know I can't dress. I, I I know I can't dress. So if you tell me I can't dress, it ain't gonna hurt my feelings because I already know it. Anyway, next item. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So yeah, I got these earrings right here. These are, let me take them out the pack. These are the silver version of those earrings that everybody loves. And I got the gold ones, but I, I don't know what happened to my other gold one. I only see one gold one. So, uh, these are so light. I was feeling, I was holding the bag and I was looking at them. These are so light. These feel more like, I don't know if y'all can see it. Like they feel like plastic than anything compared to the gold ones that I have. And these are actually smaller. I don't know if y'all can see that. They're smaller. So love these, gonna wear these later on this week with a cute little simple outfit. Is my lash lifting? Yes. It's time to go to be. <laughs> it's not gonna be no big haul. It's not all clothes, it's accessories. Uh, next time I get something from Shein, it's going to be from a different category, like decor and other type of accessories because I'm trying to get out the clothes aspect of things. So next, I got this skirt. Well, it's not a skirt. It's like a skirt. I got this skirt of Shein. And it's by the Shein Bay line that they got. Look how cute this is. And it's a skirt. Look, let me lift it so y'all can see. It's short to me, right? And I just think that is so cute. Maybe like with my red boots, even black boots, gold boots, whatever. White boots, jean boots. Let me try this on for y'all, hold on. Okay, so I got this, I'm pulling the skirt. I mean the skorts on, it's not a skirt, it's a skorts. And it's cute. It's kind of comfortable. I like skorts now. Now look, warning. Warning you guys. It is not classy. And I did it like this on purpose. Okay. I ain't gonna tell you where I'm gonna wear it. Or how I'm gonna wear it. But let me let y'all know. It's a little sexy. It's very, very sexy. It's very uh, high-waisted-ish esque. But yeah, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I don't know if y'all can see the whole thing. Huh. Can y'all see this? Okay, yeah, y'all can see it. So look, y'all. Hold on. So, yeah. I ain't gonna show, I ain't gonna show. Okay. This is the back of the skirt. Oop. And pull it down. This is the back of the skirt. It's so cute, you guys. Oh my goodness. Like, look how cute my body looks with this. I love it. It's so, so cute. And I think, I can't remember what size I got this in. I think I got, oop, okay YouTube. I got this in like a medium or a large, I can't remember. But I'm in love with it, you guys. The shorts are right here. I don't want YouTube to kill me. The shorts are right here. It's getting crazy. So yeah. I love these. Next item I got are these orange socks. See how cute that is, those are? I'm gonna do something with this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but orange has been the color for me lately. I'm gonna do something like with some thigh high boots or something, I don't know. Y'all look at this bag. I got this from Shein. Look, y'all can't tell me this ain't bomb. This is fire. I'm in love with it. And I've already been using it. It comes, I didn't even tie this right. It looks expensive, doesn't it? Like, oh my lash lifting. It looks super expensive. I'm just, look how nice and neat this look. And I wore it maybe once or twice. I think about twice. I'm just, wow, I'm floored. And this is like about eight bucks, maybe seven bucks. 
I remember it being like seven or eight books. Bomb.com. Told y'all I am just drawn to orange. I don't know what it is. Ooh, the body is body. Y'all wanna see my body? My body is body. Look. Body is getting back to normal. I still, I'm still pudgy, but body is getting back to normal. Thank God. Cause Lord, I was girl, y'all. I was getting real, real chubby. Ain't nothing wrong with chubby, but I was getting chubby. No, ma'am. So this is the orange turtleneck. So cute, and this is part of the Shein Bizwear line. So, so cute. So soft, so stretchy, and I got this in a size. By the way, let me see. What size was these shorts, or skorts? This is a large. The skorts was a large. Just in case if y'all bigger than me, smaller than me, my size, not my size, large. And then this top is a large. Because y'all, I told y'all, I don't wear larges usually, like my usual body, but I got a little thick. We was at Esh Lodge, oh my goodness. So let me try on this turtleneck. Okay y'all, I am putting on the turtleneck. Y'all, it is so cute. It's a tad bit see-through. I got on a black, well not really. I got on a black bra. Cause this probably the bra I'm gonna wear it with. Obviously, it's a black bra. But look how cute this is. Oh, I'm in love with it. Oh, look how cute. And the body is bodying with it. And it's so soft, look. Oh, I love it. That's how the back looks. You don't even see, y'all have been working on my back. Y'all don't see barely no back fat no more. Y'all, look, I don't know if y'all can see. I barely have any back fat anymore. I've been working really, really hard these past. I know it's been a few days, but I've been trying to get rid of all this water weight. I've been detoxing, y'all. Ooh, Lord. So I'm glad about it. But yeah, we're looking good, y'all. But I like this on me. It's so cute. It's not that see-through. I can definitely wear this to church, whatever, huh? work about to go into the office i love it so y'all that is it for the Shein haul and we're gonna continue on with the vlog because the vlog is continuing i just wanted to show y'all this stuff anyway you guys good night and i'll see y'all tomorrow okay y'all so we at gringo's i'm hungry we're gonna eat here first and then we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch see gringo's Ringos. I'm hungry. I already know what I'm eating. We ain't even know the search for the take sense. Right around with half and then we like to hold hands. Over two sips, I he need a bed. Then I get the plan to take in a cold red. If I tell this bitch to pull her, she gon' mope it. If my dog he don't smoke on shit unless it's unlit. I don't back and forth over no day. We at the pumpkin patch with the family. With the family. So just go on, did it. See me when you see me. If it's smoke, dog, you honey. She living rockin', bitch. It's my fave. I'm a long beat it. Look it in the mirror, kiss my face. I'm too conceited. Send a girl home, call another dog. I'm too slim. She ain't wanna eat it on the first day. It's her rhyme. I don't fuck with drugs, poppin' X for the first time. That shit kicked in like a two time world champ. Boot it up, that shit held up and downs like a skate ramp. She vaped in my room. That shit lit up like a glow lamp. Won't, won't smoke, okay, cool. Let's stay home camp. Big shit, poppin'. We don't want to get your shirt down. Niggas try to take it, the spot and that's too clear. Up 8 a.m. Geekin' hard, I'm a real vet. These niggas got me fucked up, dog. I'm too ill. Mm -hmm. Take this bitch, let me like a mess stem. Mm -hmm. Strapped up, fuck it, I'ma die lit. Too slim, posted at the crib in a snake pit. Every time I tell you how I feel, I don't think shit. Okay, y'all. So we ready for our night out. These are from Shein. I will link them. Look how cute they are. So cute. Oh my goodness. I'm in love with them. So, and then the rings, Miss A, bracelet, accessory house on Harwin. Watch, she in, this is a two-tone, but it looks gold. 
necklace accessory house on Harwin. Two tone lips mixed together. These are Kiss Glam Shine lip glosses, orgasmic and strip tease mixed together to make like this corally orangey color. I don't know how this is coming out on camera. Glasses from Zelo. Lashes. I don't know if y'all can see those, but those are from Amazon. I've been wearing these like for the whole vlog. Brows, makeup, drugstore, hair, Amazon. I lightened or AKA bleached the bottom to make a cute ombre. It's so pretty to me. This side is not all the way dry yet though. I kind of co-washed it, um, but it's it's coming out good. Oh yeah, did I say all the jewelry? Yeah. And then y'all, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. I mean, oh my goodness. Them exercises in the gym, look how my butt looks. And it's not the shorts. This is how my butt looks. Like, if you bark, I won't be mad at you. Like, literally, if you bark, I will not be mad. Wow. Wow. The booty is booty. Jesus. Home grown. I have a very, very dry, flaky nose. Okay, there we go. Okay, y'all, and the shoes, these, because it go with the outfit, like, come on now. It literally goes with the outfit. I'm in love with these, y'all know. Y'all need to watch my old vlogs to then y'all see what happened with these. So I'm taking the extra pair of black boots. That's all I'm gonna say, watch my old vlogs. Uh, and then the purse that I'm taking is this purse that I got. Ooh, my little, my little touch of brush sticking out. I didn't zip it. This uh, purse I got from Forever 21 has like this big chain on it. It goes with the whole entire outfit. It's a vibe and it's it's like a medium bag. So cute from Forever 21. I don't know if they sell these anymore, but these this was like $5. These boots was like 10. This whole outfit ain't even over, over $50. I don't think so. And those shorts that I got. Oh, by the way, I didn't even talk about the outfit. The shorts that I showed y'all are from uh, Fashion House. And this top is from It's Fashion Metro. This is the, this is a local store. Those shorts are from a local store. And the fragrance, you gonna go ahead and pick her up and pack her. This is Red Temptation or Red Zara Temptation. I know y'all can see that, yeah. Go ahead and pack her. I almost forgot to take my fragrance. And then I might layer it. What should I layer it with? The YSL or the Burberry? Yes, I'm still using my gifts. <laughs> y'all know where that come from, this big one. Um, and y'all know where this big YSL come from. Ooh, I'm gonna knock my picture down. So anyway, y'all, that's the end of the vlog. Mm-hmm, it's the end of the vlog. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, y'all. I hope y'all can relate on a lot of things that I was talking about in this vlog. It's, it's two hours. I'm pretty sure it's two hours. It might be an hour. I don't know. I don't know. Editing just could let me know something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And many, many, many more videos to come. Content videos as well. Mm -hmm. we, we getting bold. We getting bold. So, yes, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for supporting me. And we on the road to something. Like I said in the last video, we on the road. So keep it going. Keep the momentum. Make sure y'all share my videos. Share my content. I love y'all so much. But I'm about to go have me some fun. Because Miss Mama is newly single. So, anyway, y'all. I'll see y'all on the next video or vlog. I don't know which one. Bye. F and we like to hold hands. Over two sips, nah, he ain't need a bed. Then I did the pine and take it and go red. If I cut it, just a puller, she gon' mow pity. My doggy don't smoke on shit unless it's unleaded. Gone back and forth over on that, so just gone did it.